Well, I felt like remaking an older video that nobody saw. Basically, it was about strange extinct animals that once roamed the earth. But this time, I felt like going deeper into that topic and going over even more than before. You know, species long since passed that would not want to be alive today. From giant insects to alien-like monsters, and even some cases of gigantism, let's just get this shit started. Leoplerodon Living during the late Jurassic, this pliosaur was as biggest of its time, eating, well, pretty much anything that can fit inside its large mouth. This said mouth has tons of razor sharp teeth, giving it the nickname of smooth sided teeth. Reaching the length of 21 feet long, this was a reptile you did not want to mess with. It wasn't the biggest marine predator though, as you will soon see. Inostrosavia most commonly referred to as the Gorgonops, this crocodile-sized creature could reach lengths of up to 12 feet, meaning it's twice as long as their standard golden retriever. They have these sharp, saber-tooth-like canines and scary-looking claws, meaning that they could not have had many predators. The Enostrensivia lived during the late Permian period, meaning they existed right before the first dinosaurs. Dimorphodon these flying reptiles weren't even that big, quite the opposite actually. They were only 3 feet long, yet had a 4.5 foot long wingspan. And the most notable feature? The odd shaped head that seems to belong to a crocodile more than a pterosaur. It eats its prey with its large array of teeth, which has given it the name of teeth form tooth. Living in the early Jurassic, the Dimorphodon has become somewhat known due to their appearance in the Jurassic World movie. Gigantopithecus this great ape is a huge part of the Bigfoot mythos, as well, you know, look at it. Goddamn look at it. It's an orangutan pumped on serious amounts of steroids. It lived 100,000 years ago in current day Southeast Asia, being on bamboo and whatever else they could find. The Gigantopithecus could reach up to 10 feet tall, making it the largest primate to have ever existed. Their muscles were so strong they could easily be able to crush you with its weight. Some say early humans had encounters with them, which could have been, well, interesting. Many theorize that they are still alive today, living in the Himalayas as the modern Yeti. Shanosaurus This just seems to be a standard brontosaur, a large size, massive feet, and a long neck to reach branches. But what's strange about the Shanosaurus is the club tail on its back. Yes, other herbivores had them, but mixed with its large size at the time, it would have made it a very formidable foe for predators. They reached lengths of 31 feet and a height of 15 feet, meaning they weren't the largest but still pretty deadly with their club tail. Short faced bear. With a name that really doesn't fit, this massive carnivore is incredibly powerful. At up to 14 feet long, it dwarfs the scale of the two current largest land carnivores, the polar and grizzly bear. It's basically a hybrid of the two, living in icy climates yet having a darker skin tone. They lived over 11,000 years ago and are recognized as the largest mammalian carnivore to have ever lived in North America. Carnotosaurus A creature that looks like it came from hell itself, a large T-Rex-sized monster of two massive horns and spikes along its back. It lived during the end of the dinosaurs within South America and was the continent's main predator at the time. Just FYI, its name literally means meat-eating bull. Just imagine a 29 foot long creature with the power of a bull and the bite force of a modern carnivore. Good stuff. Demetrodon A predator so recognizable, yet not as well known by name. The Demetrodon was the main powerhouse of the late Permian with the Gorgonops. Just the sail alone is iconic, reaching up to 6 feet. Many think of it as a fire breathing lizard from the age of the dinos, but a lot of that isn't true. It's a mammal-like reptile with a particularly curved skull, jaw, and sharp teeth, reaching up to 15 feet long. It would lurk in water like modern reptiles, but it's just as related to humans. Ophobinia The funniest and most alien-like creature to have ever been discovered, this tiny son of a gun was only 6 centimeters long, yet it makes itself known due to its elephant trunk thing on its face with a crab claw strapped on. It has multiple bulging eyes and a flabby body, used to maneuver in its environment. It counts as the oldest creature I mentioned, 
living 500 million years ago in the mid-Cambrian. The Rosinosaurus, a pretty large dinosaur from the late Cretaceous with one big thing making it stand out, the large ass wolverine claws. Each claw is a couple of feet long, adding to its total length of 30 feet. Even though it looks extremely aggressive, it was a herbivore and used its appendages to reach tall trees for food, but it probably also used them to fend off predators and win. Its colors vary by depiction, and it seems to be more rainbow colored like modern birds. Dunkleosteus. This monster shark has one of the biggest bite forces in history, at over 11,000 pounds, by more than the current holder, the saltwater crocodile, by 8,000. It was one of the first apex predators since it ruled the Devonian period, and it grew up to 30 feet in length. They are recognized well by their bony bodies and powerful jaw, which could literally cut any modern day shark in half with one bite. They has large, scary eyes and armor all over. Strange stuff. Platybelodon. Throughout history, many different bizarre types of elephants have existed. These include such hits as the Dwarf Sicilian Elephant and the Dinotherium, but the freakiest one would have to be the Platybelodon. They are around the same size as modern elephants, but with a freakishly large mouth. This is given it the nickname Flat Tooth, which makes sense. It used its jaw like a shovel in order to scoop up vegetation and forage for food, but it might have used it to look intimidating as all hell. They look like mutant creatures straight out of science fiction, but nope. Just some herbivores from the mid Miocene period. Elasmosaurus. Being the largest plesiosaur, this deep sea carnivore's neck makes it over 34 feet long. Said neck adds to its speed, which it needs for hunting. The elasmosaurus appeared throughout the Mesozoic period up until the extinction of the dinosaurs, and has been classified as much for that but they are more similar to the equally large Leoplerodon. The Eodon. Here's a large boar demon you would expect to see in a horror film. It has many names, like the Entelodont, Terminator Pig, or Hell Pig. They have huge jaws and razor sharp teeth and massive facial muscles. Like boars and warthogs, they are omnivores, meaning they can eat the shit ton of things in the wild. The main difference, they are 11 feet long. You may know them for the recent meme with the disturbing and horrible statue standing at the door. And honestly, it's a good meme. No shade, please. Jackieopterus. If you've ever seen a large scorpion while out on a hike and thought that was freaky, then you might not want to know about this thing. It's an 8 foot long sea scorpion that was one of the earliest ever predators. Unlike modern scorpions, it doesn't have a stinger tail, but makes up for it with 18 inch long claws. So sturdy they can snap a fish in two. They lived during the rough Devonian period and basically owned it until the Dunkleosteus came along. Thorus Rockidae. Also known as the Terror Birds, these monsters occupied South America during the late Pleistocene period a couple million years ago. They are already taller than their standard ostrich at 10 feet tall and are way deadlier. Terror Birds are said to reach up to speeds of 70 miles per hour which is how fast cheetahs can go, our current fastest land animal. It was flightless, but the use of its incredible sharp beak and talons allowed it to hunt horse and man-sized creatures. Helicoprion First believed to have a whip-like jaw, the stunfish swimming past it, this deep sea shark has been reimagined into the still freaky appearance. The jaw of the Helicoprion has many looping spirals into this chainsaw, which it can use to cut up prey. They showed up in the early Permian period as a 30 foot long killing machine with a horror movie weapon lodged up its lip. Urphopleura. Even worse than the previously stated Jackieopterus, it's a millipede the size of a person. Most likely the top predator of the time, they existed in a time period called the Carboniferous period. This existed between the previously mentioned Devonian and Permian period and was crawling with these massive bug relatives like giant spiders, beetles, and a dragonfly beast known as the Maganura. Megalodon. Most of you will recognize this one, but it had to be included. This well-known relative to the already feared great white shark. 
Only one thing, it's almost 60 feet long. Just talking about the jaw, it's 7 feet wide and has a total of 250 teeth. It easily became one of the largest creatures of all time, only rivaled by certain dinosaurs and whales. The Megalodon has inspired lots of different media, including a film that came out in 2018. Spinosaurus. This is, in fact, the largest land predator we have ever known. Way bigger than the Tyrannosaurus rex and the previously mentioned Carnotaurus. Size-wise, they were 23 feet tall and double that in length. A big reason for this was their massive spines, which is their main namesake. Multiple different reasons have been given for these sails, like for temperature control or for stirring in water. And yes, they swam. So not only are they dangerous on land, but in water too. Just look at their goddamn teeth. These guys are just plain badass and terrifying at the same time. Chronosaurus. One of my personal favorite animals, this behemoth is 15 feet longer than the earlier stated Pleopleurodon. They are only rivaled by the Mosasaurus, but are notable for their large heads that take up over a third of their body. Living in the early Cretaceous period, they have teeth so large and sparse, it easily made them the toughest predator seen so far. The name is based off a Greek god of time, Kronos, and Kronos is known for eating all of his children and eventually being forced to spat them all out. No coincidence, then, that a powerful creature like this is named after a freaking cannibal. Quetzalcoatlus Reaching sizes of a small airplane, this flying monster is the largest flying creature ever, with a 36-foot wingspan. They belong to the pterosaur family like the Dimorphodon and the Pteranodon, but dwarves them in every single way possible. Instead of hunting in the air, it's speculated that they feasted on the ground and stood as tall as today's giraffes. They would lean overhead and snag anything moving along the ground. Just imagine these winged horrors stabbing their prey with his beaks and swallowing them whole. They died out with the rest of the dinosaurs and, um, that's a good thing. Sarcosuchus So far I've mentioned a variety of crocodile-like creatures, but here's the mac daddy of them all. A crocodile so large, it could fight massive dinosaurs all on its own. They had massive jaws with powerful bite forces and rows upon rows of bone crushing teeth. Reaching up to 31 feet long, they had the strength to defeat creatures way bigger than themselves. The nickname of Super Croc has never been so fitting. Titanoboa. Even worse than the Sarcosuchus is this giant serpent that appeared after the Cretaceous period. It dwelled in South American swamps and could reach up to lengths of 42 feet. They weren't poisonous, but were deadly for a different reason. Like the modern boa constrictor, it is able to swallow its prey whole, even those of its size. So in the same way, a boa can swallow a rodent whole, a Titanoboa can swallow an entire alligator. Like, shit bro, imagine these guys dwelling in people's backyards. They stuff of nightmares. <laughs>